Well, there's a hole in it. We're Brad and Jazz, and this is our 2015 long wheelbase Mercedes Sprinter. And this year, we will be turning this empty cargo van into an off-grid luxury motorhome. Welcome back. Today, we have to cut more holes in our van. So we're going to be installing this gas box in the side, the driver's side behind the wheel arch. Uh, we went with the DIY RV Solutions gas box, so it should fit the curvature of the van, which means we just need to measure it all up, make sure that it goes in the right spot, and uh, hopefully we cut the hole the right size and we don't have too many issues. Let's get straight into it. So essentially what's gonna happen is this here is gonna go into the van and these little curves here should line up with this little lip here. So essentially once that slides in, it should sit on the inside like that and the fascia will come on the front and then we can put our gas box in there. In Australia, you have to have an outdoor gas box and it has to ventilate outwards. You can't access it from the inside. So that's why we have to put these in as part of regulations. So let's get straight into it. So we're just gonna measure this up, make sure that we cut the right hole. So we'll end up measuring everything out, make sure it's nice and vertically level. And then we'll drill a little pilot hole from the inside here so we can start measuring from the outside and cut out all the inside with the old angle grinder and then from the outside we'll probably go with the jigsaw I reckon uh, just for a bit more convenience. So let's measure this up, mark it out and get started. 420. This product arrived with no paperwork in the box, so there's no specifications or instructions or tips. So we wanna make really sure that we are measuring 100 times. So we think that the best way to go about this is first to remove this section and then measure again. So the idea is I'm gonna pop a hole in here and then I'll be able to measure the whole box from the outside so I'll line it all up. But that's gonna be our starting point because that's as low as we can go in this area. One hole. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish like there. So we've just been discussing that we can't use a spirit level to make sure that this is all even because we don't know if the van is level. So we are using points on the van to measure, not a spirit level. Okay, we have measured this like a hundred times. So I just did from that middle pylon back to here and the same on the bottom and just made sure that they lined up. And you can see the first time we got it slightly wrong. I measured vertical as well from these two holes. And if I bang it on that side and there, that should be pretty much square and that'll line up with the floor of the van. And uh, hopefully that's where we need it. So we've tried to line up the crease with this little cutout with that section. And then this little bit up here, sorry, I'm moving around, but essentially that needs to go sort of halfway in there. So it's sit flush on there rather than on the outside of that. Cause that's going to go on the outside of the van. So you don't want that to slip through. Just going to tape around this so when I actually cut it with a jigsaw it doesn't scratch any of the outside surface and this will also act as a bit of a protection when I silicon on there uh, so that it doesn't sort of spread out and we can rip it off and make it nice and neat. Friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone it's a blessing in disguise get out of what you call home your name is written in the sky it might feel just like you're on your own but baby it's not the lie remember you Right? Yeah, well it does get thicker as you come out, so it's really this bit here that needs to sit against that.
She's an awkward job, can't lie. Well, it took a combination of jigsaw and angle grinder, mostly from the outside, a little bit from the inside. We have a hole. I'll just get rid of this chunk of our van. Bye. So we filed off all the rough edges and now we're applying a rust primer to protect the metal. So now we're applying Sikaflex around all the edges so that the gas box will actually stick to the frame of the van. Hey, we've devised the dodgiest setup ever to try and hold this in. We've got some rope and some wood to try and push it in. We've strapped it to the other side of the van and then underneath. But it's sort of a hit and miss game here, so I wouldn't recommend doing this. But uh, hopefully it gets the job done. Okay, here's the sitch. We've got Sikaflex all the way around the edge and we have our handy dandy rope tension system holding it in place with some Jenga wood. And we are going to leave this overnight to get nice and dry, come back and we will finish it off. We are back. We have taken down our Jenga wood, not the best solution. If you can get a multi-prop, totally recommend it, but we are ready to clean this up. Okay, a couple minor rookie errors that we made yesterday. We should have taken this tape off while this was still a little bit damp. So that's gonna be a little bit interesting to get off. This also is about half a centimeter off of where it needed to be. So I should have cut it down a little bit further. So we had to build that up a little bit, no big issue, but it's just gonna look a little bit off. And I should have mounted the hinge before I mounted it in because now we have to <laughs> mount it while it's in here, which could be a bit interesting. Okay, this would have been a lot easier to do pre-installing it, but essentially I've just got my screws ready. I'm going to put some Sika Flex on here. We're going to bang it up on there and screw it in. And then we're going to mount this front one on here as well so that it all fits nice and flush. All right, I'm just putting some Sika Flex on here so that once I put it on inside there, it'll actually bond up and it will sort of stop any squeaking in that as well. So just do a nice little bead. That required at least four hands. Six would have been good, but the door is on the hinge and the hinge is on the box. So we've just marked out where we need to punch a hole so we can put the lock in there. It's quite difficult to actually work out where it needs to go because you need to count for the lip and also the depth of the actual lock. So I've measured it about four times and I'm pretty sure I need to punch a hole pretty much at the bottom of that line right there and that should make the lock click in with the actual mechanism on the back end and hopefully it all works. Like we said, this arrives with no specifications, no instructions. You get a door, you get a hinge, you get a lock in a bag and we're giving it a go. Well, there's a hole in it. All right, it's in after a bit of a struggle. Do I have to sort of give this a bit of a jiggle to get it in because the plastic's still pretty tight? I might not. It's locked, it's not coming out. And then if you unlock it, you have to sort of use the key as a bit of a leverage. But uh, yeah, she looks tight. It's in there, it's not going anywhere. So yeah, pretty happy with how that turned out. Great success. So that is the install of the gas box. It was uh, definitely a challenge, no instructions in the box or anything. So I had to sort of do a lot of YouTubing and looking for other videos like this one. So we hope this helped you guys out. I would definitely recommend doing the door before you put it in and also removing the tape before you let it dry too much around the sicker flex. Mm -hmm. Other than that, <laughs> it went okay considering it's our first time doing one of these. Next week we'll either be doing the windows or the floor insulation because we're just still waiting on the windows to come so they're sort of a week behind where we thought they would be. Those are the next steps so hopefully you'll come back and join us again. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Oh my god! Whose dog is that?